The helicopter meta has been very, very big in Warpath after the modern unit update. It was the MBT or the medium tank for a long time. It has since shifted to the helicopter meta. So we are going to be doing some helicopter testing today. We're going to see which helicopter is actually the best in battle. We are going to face off head to head each one of these helicopters from each one of these different camps. We're going to let them attack and then also get attacked. So we're going to see if there's any variables or any change in outcome or results with any of these different helicopters. We are on the test server, so we have been able to eliminate as many variables as we could possibly control. We've got perfect, exactly aligned VIP levels, technology, alliance buffs. There's no conquest buffs, no unit skin buffs, no base skin buffs. We've eliminated every possible variable that we that we absolutely could. If you guys are enjoying the videos on the channel, please consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button as both of those things help me and the channel out tremendously. If you guys have access to Discord and are not already in our community, Discord Discord server. The link to that is going to be below in the description of the video. Click the link, jump into the community Discord server. We'd love to have you. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into our helicopter testing. Welcome back, guys. We are going to jump right into the testing here. Here's how it's going to go. We are going to go in the same order as we did with the main battle tank testing. We are going to start with Liberty. We're going to go Liberty versus Martyrs, Liberty versus Vanguard. We're then going to switch to Vanguard, go Vanguard versus Martyrs, Vanguard versus Liberty. And then we're going to go to Martyrs and go Martyrs versus Liberty, Martyr versus Vanguard in that order. So I'm going to shut off the face cam so there's no obstruction to the actual battle. We're going to let the battle complete and then we are going to take a look at the after action battle report once it generates. Let's go ahead and jump into test one, which is going to be Liberty versus Martyrs. The report for test one has generated and martyrs came out on top in round one here. We had 41.7 million unit, unit damage dealt and we suffered 64.6 million. So martyrs in a not just a total blowout, but in a pretty handed defeat there. So we are going to retrain and we're going to get ready for round two, which is going to be Liberty versus Vanguard. Wow, guys, we have got the results in from that report, and that was not the outcome I was honestly expecting. The Liberty took the dub on that one, beating the Vanguard in a head-up fight. It was really neck and neck for the first about half of the fight, trading blows and, and kind of staying neck and neck in terms of units killed and everything like that. Uh, did a total of 64 million unit damage, 60, uh, I'm sorry, 48.8 million damage suffered, but that was an outcome 
Truthfully, I wasn't expecting. I really thought the Vanguard was going to take that one, even though the Liberty was the attacking unit. The Vanguard, for the most part, is kind of renowned for being kind of the most well-rounded, versatile helicopter out of the three. You've got the Liberty uh, Heli, which is geared more towards speed, being the fastest helicopter unit on the field. The Martyrs, which offers the most penetration, and then the Vanguard, which has the most firepower and generally seems to hit the hardest. So I was kind of going along with status quo, thinking the Vanguard was going to take it, and it actually did not. So we will see on round two or phase two of testing when the Vanguard is leading the charge how this goes. We're going to see how it stacks up against both the Martyrs and the Liberty coming up, and we're going to see, especially against the Liberty specifically, if when it attacks, if that changes the outcome. So we will find that out here in just a moment. So we've got the results in here from the Vanguard versus Martyrs fight, and the Vanguard handled it pretty easily, getting a 102 kill report here with 48 losses, so didn't take very many losses there. 64 million damage, suffered 34 million, so really didn't do a whole lot. The Martyrs didn't do a whole lot to the Vanguard there for the most part. So we are going to retrain and we are going to see how this matchup, this, re, uh, this round two matchup between Vanguard and Liberty goes. We're going to see if it changes the outcome now that Vanguard is actually starting the attack versus getting attacked. So this is, I'm very excited for this one. This is going to be interesting to see the outcome of. Wow, guys, so the results are in, and that was neck and neck, down to the wire, too close to call until the very end. That was very interesting. So the Vanguard did win when the Vanguard was attacking. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a little bit deeper of a dive into comparing the two Vanguard and Liberty reports to see exactly what might give us an answer here. So in this most recent attack, we dealt 64.6 .6 million, suffered 54.8. This report is when the Vanguard was starting the attack against a Liberty. Let's jump down here to when the Liberty started against a Vanguard. We lost 66 units. The Liberty won the fight when it was initiating the attack and only lost 66 units. When the Vanguard initiated the attack, it, the Vanguard lost 84. So the Vanguard, even though it won... When it initiated the attack, it lost more than the Liberty did when the Liberty Heli initiated the attack. We also, when we were running it with the Liberty and the Liberty Heli initiated the attack, we suffered 48.4 million damage. When the Vanguard initiated the attack, we suffered 54.8. So, with this being said, even though Liberty won one head up and Vanguard won one head up, and it really came down, the deciding factor was who started the attack. 
when you look a little deeper into the data, it points towards the fact that the Liberty is actually better because even though it lost when it did not initiate the attack, when it did, it lost less units and suffered less damage than the Vanguard. So that's very, very interesting to me. We are going to finish getting our units all retrained here and we are going to go into phase three. This is going to be the last phase of this testing. This is where we are going to start off the attacks with the Martyrs heli. We're going to go Martyrs versus Liberty and then Martyrs versus Vanguard and we're going to see what happens. Leading it off is going to be Martyrs versus Liberty. Once again, the Liberty helicopter prevails. So we had the Martyrs leading the attack off that time against the Liberty and the Liberty ended up coming out on top. It was a pretty close neck and neck fight until the end and then the Liberty kind of started to break away. So that was interesting. I really actually thought for about the first half of the fight that the Martyrs might, might end up taking it, but that just wasn't the case when it was all said and done. We got 84 kills, lost 102 units. We did 56.4 million unit damage dealt and did and suffered 64 million. So with that being said, it at this point, we're, we're, we've got one more test to go. We're going to do Martyrs versus Vanduar. We're going to see what goes down with that. But I think um, I think the results are starting to kind of unfold here. But we've got one more before we can draw a definitive conclusion. And we are going to see what happens between Martyrs and Vanguard. And the results are in martyrs versus vanguard the vanguard came out on top so with this being said we are going to back out of this battle report we can see here we did 48.7 million unit unit damage dealt with the martyrs suffered 64 million we got 72 kills out of the deal so we are going to back out of this battle report here we are going to do kind of a roundup a conclusion break this down a little bit more in depth and give you guys an idea on what direction it might be smart to go with in terms of building helis all right guys we have concluded our helicopter testing let's dive into the results and i'll give you guys my thoughts and my opinions here so when it comes to head-up matchups, it was a kind of cross the board, if you will, all right? So when Liberty attacked Vanguard, Liberty won. When Vanguard attacked Liberty, Liberty won. The Martyrs didn't win against anybody ever. It did, Whether it was attacking or getting attacked, doesn't matter. They the, the Martyrs camp lost. So I think that without a shadow of a doubt, 
puts the Martyrs Camp in the third spot in terms of the overall ranking for helicopters. Now we need to figure out who's going to go into the one and two spot between Liberty and Vanguard. When Liberty started the attack against the Vanguard, the Liberty won. When the Vanguard started the attack against the Liberty, the Vanguard won. But upon further investigation, we saw that when the Liberty attacked the Vanguard, the Liberty lost less units than when the Vanguard attacked the Liberty, even though the Vanguard won when it started the attack, it lost more units in a head-up fight with Liberty than the Liberty did when it started the attack on Vanguard. Now, something else to note. In a head-up fight when Liberty and Vanguard vo both faced the Martyr unit, whether it was attacking or getting attacked, the Vanguard helicopter killed off the Martyr's helicopter at a faster rate and with less losses compared to the Liberty. So, it begs the question, what is the best overall helicopter unit in the game? The answer for me is going to have to be Liberty, and the reason is, is because in the head-up fight, whether it was being attacked or attacking, it had better overall performance than the Vanguard helicopter. They both handled the Martyr's well. Even though the Vanguard handled the Martyrs a little bit better, they both had no issue in killing off the Martyrs. And in a head-up fight, the Liberty performed in both scenarios, getting attacked and being attacked. Or, I'm sorry, getting attacked and starting the attack, it performed better than the Vanguard. So for that reason alone, that is why I'm going to place Liberty in the number one spot and Vanguard in the number two spot. That outcome is a little surprising to me, to be perfectly honest with you. I thought the Vanguard helicopter, from what I've heard and what I've seen, was going to be really kind of the, the main stake helicopter here. But with even variables, no other external factors playing into consideration, the Liberty seemed to be the dominant helicopter. However, if you have a Vanguard or if you have a Martyrs, don't feel bad. Obviously, they're still very serviceable. They still get tons of kills. And this was in a, a controlled environment, a perfect environment without any external buffs, conquest buffs, city buffs, title buffs, unit buffs, base skin buffs, etc. So just because you have one of these other units in another camp, maybe a Martyrs or a Vanguard, don't feel bad because they're still very service serviceable, still very good units, and you're still going to have high production out of them. So don't feel bad. Don't feel like you've done anything wrong. But for those of you that are looking at building something and have not done it yet or are looking to build something new, you have some more concrete data now to make that educated decision on what is going to be the best route for you. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, want to see more videos like this, please consider hitting the like button and the subscribe button as both of those things help me out tremendously. And again, if you have access to Discord, the link to our community Discord server is going to be in the description of the video below. Click on the link, come join us in the community server. We'd love to have you come be a part of it. With that being said, I appreciate you guys hanging out with us for this video. We'll catch you guys on the next one.